Hey everyone, Christina here, aka Dolps and Dumbbells, and I would like to welcome you to the Keto Reboot Challenge. So, what is it? You know, you know you bought your box, you know you're gonna be fasting for 60 hours, and you don't really know what to start. So now that you got your box and you're looking at it, you probably opened it, and you're like, now what? What do I do? Well, first and foremost, I'm super proud of you for taking this challenge. Um, I do it every single month and I drink my ketones daily. I do it because I want to give my body its monthly maintenance. Just as you do with a computer, a cell phone, or a car, your body needs its monthly maintenance. So I do it, like I said, once a month. You're not going to do it alone. You're in this because you've also already been added to a you know, group chat with other people who are doing the Keto Reboot with you, as well as a huge community of over 90,000 people on Facebook that you can add yourself to. I will also share that link with you in regards to the Keto Reboot community that you can add yourself to. They share tons of resources, videos, tips, um, a lot of information in that group in surrounding uh, before and after the Keto Reboot. So let's open up the box. What you're gonna need right now is about four Ziploc baggies, okay? One Sharpie, your box, and some scissors. The reason why I'm saying this is because you're gonna be opening up your box. In your box, you should have gotten two sets of Signal OS, this helps with running, having your body run at its optimization. You're also gonna get a calendar that you wanna look over. It's gonna tell you when to drink and take all the supplements. You're gonna have three electrolytes, Mitoplex, and I'll explain everything. Uh, Mitoplex helps with performance, muscle restoration, it's giving your body electrolytes and all that good stuff. You're gonna have some Keto Pro, which is the whey protein. You probably have this orange one, which tastes like Fruity Pebbles, or you'll have the other one, the Chocolate Swirl, which tastes like chocolate. You're gonna use this on Wednesday. And then you're also gonna get four different flavors of ketones. Uh, Maui Punch tastes like Fruit Punch, Raspberry Lemonade tastes like Raspberry Lemonade, Heart Tart tastes like Sweet Tarts, and Lime Time tastes like a Lime Refresher. What's the difference? This one has caffeine, this one doesn't. This one you're taking in the morning, this one you're taking in the afternoon. Then you're going to have two different flavors of broths, okay? Depending on which one you got is going to depend on you know there's a variety of different flavors so typically the last few times i've gotten the french onion and the salted caramel french onion i like hot salted caramel i like it blended with ice you can have it with ice water i just prefer having it blended with ice so let's get started so what i've done is separated the four ziploc baggies with the calendar on it so you'll see sunday it says signal os and you'll take the three and then Monday, again, I have the calendar written out. The reason why I have it in Ziploc baggies in the calendar, if you're a busy person on the go, if you're doing this while you're at work or you're stay-at-home mom, you have all your tools for success in this baggie. You just bring it with you. It has the calendar written on it so you can see when you need to be taking it, and it just keeps it in one little um, small, simple place. Tuesday, again, you have the calendar and separated. And then Wednesday, your last day, it tells you. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna prepare mine right now. So Sunday, you have three Signal OS that you're gonna take at night. You should typically ideally start on a Sunday because you finish on a Wednesday. You will have extra supplements you can continue taking them days after you finish the reboot. It's not going to do anything. Um, what I always suggest is that, um, is that, you know, the week of before you start the reboot, you kind of don't want to binge out because a lot of people technically when they start thinking like, oh, I'm going to do the reboot this weekend. It's okay. I can have this pizza, ice cream, beer, all this, but it just makes it so much harder for them when it's time to start the reboot and the same for that weekend. So, um, 
For example, when I'm making this video, I'm about to reboot this following weekend, so I'm going to make sure that I am choosing healthy keto options. Now, after you finish the reboot, people ask, well, what do I eat? Well, technically, you break your fast when you drink this. So you're eating this and then try to keep it light that whole day because your stomach just went through fasting and you don't want to make yourself sick when you go eat a huge burger. So think of like a salad or an omelet. Keep it simple that that um, that Wednesday. So the next day is going to be Signal OS AM and two, two of them, Mitoplex and Keto. Um, I lied. That was Wednesdays. So the... Mondays, the next one is going to have your Keto Nat, your Signal OS, Mitoplex, your Better Broth, Keto Nat, Better Broth, Signal PM. So let me tell you this. People always ask me this question. Christina, do I just add this with water? What do I do? I like to basically add them together. So when you mix your ketones in the morning, just pour this, pour this, and shake. Hopefully this is making sense. Um, and again, in the morning, it's going to be two of the AM of the signal. So then I'm just going to cut two of them off and then just put it in here. Then I'm going to grab a broth. I'm going to grab one of each because you're going to have one for lunch and dinner. You're going to put it in here. You're also going to grab another flavor of the uncharged. And then I'm going to grab my three of PM signal S and put it in there. So this is Mondays and you're going to do the same exact thing for Tuesday. So let me just get mine done. I grab my morning and afternoon signal OS. I'm going to grab my ketones my broth, add my mitoplex in there. Literally, this is basically meal prepping, having it all set up. Now, Wednesday, you're gonna have, you're gonna add this to this. So if you, for example, like I said, I like to blend this one with ice. Um, as same as the chocolate one, I like to blend them with ice. I add this into them. And so for Wednesday, when you do it, you have that, and then you're gonna have um, your Keto, I mean your Signal S A M, your two of them, and then you start. I do want to recommend, you know, setting this up this way. You also want to make sure that you take before pictures and measurements. A lot of people don't like to do this or they forget and they're like, well, I don't really see a point. No, it is a non-negotiable. The reason why I want you to take before pictures and measurements, if you don't have a measuring tape, go to the Dollar Tree, go to Walmart, Target, whatever, order on Amazon, go get one. You want to be able to track in multiple ways because certain circumstances, there's been times where people are like, well, I didn't lose any weight. And then two days later, they get the whoosh effect and then they drop like five pounds. It's just your body releasing. Everyone's different. Some people lose five to seven. I've seen some people lose 10 pounds. So it's really up to your body. Um, another tip is drink a lot of water. Everything that comes in this box is pretty much what you can have. Um, so you also got in an email at one point too, hopefully that weekend of explaining some tips and tricks in regards to starting um, the reboot. So in regards to exercise, you can exercise. I exercise. It's up to you. Listen to your body. Drink a lot of water. If you start feeling hungry, down some water. I like to, like to add pink Himalayan salt to my water. Um, you just um, crank it a little bit, put a little bit in there, and that's it. So exercise, yes, a lot of water. Um, you're going to drink everything that comes in there and then just be positive. Really d dive into the, um, the group chat because this is going to be a mental challenge. A lot of people, you know, go through a lot. For me, this will, at this time I'm making this video, it's my seventh round. 
Um, every round is different. Some days are easier than others. Some are harder. It just really depends on what I'm going. I just think positive, just knowing that it's 60 hours. Your body can do anything. It's your mind that you have to convince. So just be kind to yourself. Don't think about like, oh, all this stuff I'm not going to be able to have in these 60 hours. No, you're going to want to think about everything that is benefiting you during this 60 hours. What is exactly happening in, with your body? You know, your detoxing, your defluffing, you're resetting your metabolism. You're going to have um, better sleep. You're going to be ditching uh, sugar addictions or soda addictions within these 60 hours. So it's kind of just replaying those thoughts in your head during the 60 hours is going to help you be successful. So I really hope this video helped you. Um, like I said, I've been doing this, setting it up in Ziploc baggies for a while now, and it just made life easier. Yes, you can continue. Um, drinking these. Now, if this is your first time doing the reboot, I ask you that you continue doing them. Like I said, if you this is your first time trying ketones so during the reboot, figure out which flavor you like and then continue with your first box, you know. So for me, I do ketones and then I do the reboot and then I continue with my ketones. So hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching and good luck with your reboot.